hello guys you welcome back again to my channel and i mean video worry again i greet all of you according to your time according to where you hear me from thank you so much for tuning in to all my returning subscribers and viewers thank you and if today is your first time of visiting my channel please do consider subscribing and also drop your comment in the comment section please let's become one family i'll be making this video based on one of the comments i got from some persons here you know requesting me to make review about the olu of worry first month it did we can't go back you know like go back to repeat videos that we've already made in time past so today i'll be doing just like a short summary starting from the first day which is the first month okay so in this video today i will be reviewing the first month of the olu of worry on the throne please do not forget to drop your contribution in the comment section should in case i miss out on anything let us know in the comment section so my people let's get started after the death of the 20th olu of worry ike wali Godfrey emiko on 21st of December 2020, the Iwere people finally have a new king. Things started controversially for the 21st Olu of Worry. It could be recorded that following the transition of the immediate past Olu of Worry, Ogyame Ikewoli, in December 2020, the palace was reportedly invaded and the 400-year-old crown and symbol of the Ishakiri monarchy were declared missing. The 21st Olu of Wari responded that the coronation will still go ahead as scheduled. So let me take you guys into the coronation properly and let me highlight the things that happened on the day of the coronation and this is the first month of the olu of worry ogyame atua shared the third the coronation of a dashing monarch in the oil rich impoverished delta region has sparked a resurgence in royalty tradition an accessory among some young Nigerians. Tazo strung the streets and dignitaries and war wishers flew in from around the world as the Ishakiri people of Iwere Kingdom in Delta State crowned a new king, Ogyame Atuashe the Third. As early as 6 a.m., crowd of people were already arriving at the Wari Boat Yard and Wari Club. A large number of sea crafts, speed boats, badges were stationed at the jetties to transport guests, dignitaries, visitors to venue of the coronation. Other points of the passion were Ogbuangwe and Ife jetties, respectively. Here is a display of what took place on the Wari River before the coronation. It was full-blown boat regatta escorting the royal boat conveying the Olu designate to Ode Shekiri for the main ceremony. The boat for the regatta were dressed in different attractive colors, hosting flags of red, white, and yellow. Many have expectation on the new Olu of worry to set things in motion to rewrite the narrative of the region. The prince has inspired a new generation with his progressive attitude and his speech was a light of the ceremony for many who have often lamented the failures of leadership in the country. In a wide range of speech, he called for the region to look beyond oil and gas. Nigeria, as we all know, is the largest oil producer in Africa, contributing to 86% to the country's total export revenue. 
So in his speech, he said, we must look beyond oil and gas and channel our energy in the right direction towards the endeavors that will result in added value across the board. When asked about women, he reacted that women will no longer be invisible. In his coronation speech, the Olu of Worry also pledged that women will be given agency to play an active role in the community. He said, we will ensure that women, both old and young, honored and respected not only by word but in actual cultural practice so i say to our women today you will no longer be invisible he also went ahead to bestow new titles on his mother and wife Iye olu atuwa the third and olori atuwa the third before his speech, the Olu of Wari treated the audience with his rendition of Christian worship songs. However, this met with criticism from some quarters who expected the monarch to embrace the traditional faith of his forebears. It was seen during his coronation speech that the Olu of worry or Giamme at the third also reversed an ancestral cause said to have been placed on Nigeria by his grandfather Olu Erejua the second. He said, as a firm believer in the intricate interconnectedness between the spiritual and the manifestation in the physical. It is our firm belief that the matter needs to be addressed today. We also saw dignitaries from all over the country. They came to the occasion. It was a blossom ceremony. The one in a kind that Nigerians will not forget in a hurry. So today, many have expectations on the new Olu of worry to set things in motion, to rewrite the narrative of the region. So my people, I will ask you today, what are your expectations about the Olu of worry? My people, I don't want to talk too much today. Now here, I go to stop. Make you not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I beg. Make you not forget to drop on a contribution for the comment section. Now, now worry again. Now, I did talk. I go see you now again for my next video. If you get any suggestion for any video you want to make for my channel, may you not forget to drop them. I go make them for you. The same way when I did make this one now for. People when they ask, na so it just be. I go see you na again. Una, bye bye. <music>